How's everybody doing? Welcome to the fish room. Uh, first off, I hope everyone had a great Christmas, New Year's. Uh, I know I've been busy. Sorry I missed videos for a few days. I also celebrated a birthday, so one year older now. But let's go ahead. Let's take a look at a few things in the fish room. I'll show you what's going on and what some of my new plans are for 2019. Taking a step back, um, anyone who has not seen my fish room before, uh, here's the majority of my setup. I have uh, 16 20 gallon longs, uh, 12 10 gallon tanks, 340 breeders on this wooden stand. Wrapping around the corner here, I have some tanks on some black wrought iron stands. There's 55s, 29s, and 10s. The whole room is heated by my Radeon heater and I have some other heaters in the, of a backup heater in the room. And then I got my wall tank that I plan on still doing my plants. I have them all sitting here ready for me. I'm gonna do a artificial plant tank. And then the timers are off, but I have a moss tank, uh, shrimp and moss in that 20 on there. And all this needs cleaned up. Definitely gonna do some revamping in here for the new year. Um, but let me kind of show a few things that are going on, um, what's changed since my last video, and what some of my plans are for this new year, and what you guys think. Over here are the German Blue Ram grow outs. These guys are getting ready for sale. I did some water changes on half the tanks today. Um, but with the German Blue Rams, I have some fry over here. Uh, I showed a video on hatching the eggs and showing free swimming, but they're just starting to barely free swim. Uh, as of today, this morning, they were still kind of laying on the bottom. So I have some German Blue Rams hatching out in that container, as well as over here I have some, and they're kind of laying on the bottom. So I might crank the air up, do a water change on them. They're still sitting on the bottom. They are growing, they're swimming around a little bit. So they need a little bit more time, probably another day or two. But that's for the German Blue Rams. Over here I have a bristlenose pleco tank. And I do sell fish online through my website, um, biancosfish.com. I also sell to a local pet store. But I've been getting a lot of plecos of size and I'm trying to sell these kind of wholesale. So I reached out to another pet store and I gave them a pretty good deal and I wanna just kinda of get, uh, kinda of introduce myself to the store so they're actually getting these. They're getting 100 albinos and 100 common plecos uh, from the one inch to two inch range. So this tank will be getting cleared out tomorrow, most likely all those guys, and even some down in this uh, bottom tank here. So that's good. I can uh, sell some fish, um, get uh, to know some more customers. So looking forward to doing that. I might do a video on uh, what 200 plecos looks like. But as for my room, um, things I'm thinking about doing, right now for my water changes, I'm currently taking a uh, mag drive pump and pumping the water to a floor drain, tank by tank. And then I go with my python hose from the sink and I'll go ahead and fill them. But one thing I'm thinking about doing, so if you're looking at it from this side of the room, I have the whole wall and it kind of corners off and I have a bird. so. His cage stays in here. Um, get ready to slide it back to the wall and clean it tonight. But my plans are, and I really wanna know what you guys think. I'm thinking about taking these tanks over to about right here and taking them off into the middle of the room. So I'll have like two aisles. I'll be an aisle here, maybe uh, 255s there. And then I'll have my uh, existing tanks. But that way it's gonna give me probably about three feet back here and these tanks get moved forward and I can have some storage behind the tanks. I can push my uh, bird cage back into the corner. So coming through the door off that wall, I kind of want to have tanks from the front of this all the way down to the wall. And what that's going to allow me to do, I'll pull these out and I'll have that room behind there. I'm thinking about doing a storage tank back there. I might build it with pond liner and four by fours or two by fours and uh, plywood. But if I did like a two to three foot wide uh, frame and back maybe five, maybe six feet, up, maybe four feet high, 
I could probably get close to a 700 or 800 gallon uh, container or like a water holder where I can fill that water up back there, dechlorinate it, let it get room temperature, and I actually can pump water from that to all my tanks. So that's gonna eliminate the use of the Python hose and getting it from the sink. Cause let me flip this around and kind of talk to you guys. So my thought behind that is basically, um, if I don't have a drip system, I don't have overflows yet, which I do plan on doing in the future. If not here, when I eventually move my fish room and I get a house, I'm kind of planning that out. It may take me a year, maybe uh, 18 months or so. But when I eventually do that, I would like to drain the tank, drill the tanks so I can uh, drain them faster or do a drip system. Um, really help me cut down on my time in the fish room of just changing water and I can focus more on breeding the fish, cleaning the filters, organizing things, and actually selling the fish. So doing a holding tank like that, a uh, few things it's gonna really help me with. Um, first, it kinda give me peace of mind. Um, whenever I'm filling the tank, I'm always constantly checking the temperature of the tanks. Uh, I'm dechlorinating as I go. I don't wanna overflow tanks. If anything happens, I have to run all the way to the sink to turn the water off. Um, in the winter months, I'm in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So it gets cold in the winter. So my water temperature throughout the year really fluctuates. So in the summertime, if I have maybe 75% um, cold, 25% hot on my uh, sink, it'll be pretty consistent for the entire water change. But in the winter, I have to do almost 50-50 of hot and cold. And then maybe 30 minutes in, 45 minutes in of filling tanks. Uh, right before I'm starting to finish, I'm like running out of hot water or I'm needing to continuously hire the hot water, check it with my temperature gun. It's kind of just a pain. And it would be peace of mind if I had water stored in the fish room um, that it's not taking up too much room in the fish room. If I kind of put it against the wall and I do that kind of design, I don't think I'm gonna really lose much space. I'll still have a lot of movement around in the fish room. Um, if anything, I'll look maybe a little bit cleaner, I think, and that way, I don't have to constantly check the temperature. I can use a pump in there so I can pump it a lot faster. And I could do like a remote on that pump so I can turn it on and off, go from tank to tank, fill those tanks up. And I know the water is dechlorinated and it's the same temperature. So uh, let me know what you guys think. I've always wanted to do that, but I didn't want to have like 10, 55 gallon drums in here. So I think if I could build something, uh, preferably out of pond liner, uh, that way I can build it in here. I know what the size is. Hopefully do it um, cost effectively. Uh, and if I did a big, one of the bigger tanks, like the thousand gallons, uh, I just can't get it through my door into the fish room. If I store it somewhere else, um, it's gonna take up a lot of space. And then I'll have to put a heater in there and heat that water and I'll have to have a longer hose to pump water over here. So I think by bumping those tanks off the wall and putting it behind there, I can circulate that water, I can pump it there into my tanks and fill it up a lot faster. So that's kind of my plans for 2019 to kind of upgrade my water change um, system, I guess my uh, routine, and help my fish out, help me out, save a lot of time. Right now it takes me about, probably about three hours to do 50% uh, water changes on all my tanks. I have 43 tanks. I think that'll cut it down because I can drain them in maybe a half hour to 45 minutes and filling takes an hour, hour and a half, two hours. So it takes me about three hours, sometimes almost four with just the preparation. If I have to drain the tanks first, then fill them after, sometimes I can start filling as I'm still draining. I can get done a lot faster, but it's a little hectic. And whenever I'm checking the water temperature at the same time, uh, I'm coming to, I have to drain all the tanks um, finish draining, then I start filling. So it takes almost four hours. I mean, if you're doing four hours every week, uh, it definitely adds up. It's hard to do as many water changes. So if I did something like that, it's gonna really speed up my water changes. And I think it's gonna be a really nice thing to kind of uh, try out and show you guys. So even if you had a small tank, if you had like a 55 gallon tank, you can mix that into a 20 gallon tote or a 40 gallon tote under in your stand and you can uh, do faster water changes that way. You can drain it out and then pump the water in. And then after you're done, you fill that uh, storage tank up, uh, dechlorinate it, circulate it, put a heater in there, or if it's in a heated room like mine, uh, let it get the temp. The water just kind of sits there. It's clean water. 
you can access it, you can pump it into a five gallon bucket or a container uh, for whatever you need it for. And I think it's gonna really help out. So that's one of my plans. Let me know if you, if you think I should do it and if you do something similar or if you have other ideas, uh, comment below, let me know what you think. But that's kind of it for 2019. I wanted to do a video tonight. I plan on doing the 55 gallon planted tank sometime this week, but I want to get a video out. I wanted to kind of shoot this idea past you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching guys. And I will talk to you guys soon.